I bought this in Lido in August 22, £4.99. Mainly because of size, really. I like the size. I'm using it. This is the one I'm going to replace it with. But I'm not sure now, actually, because this is a bit lighter. I mean, if this was in plastic, I would be happy. I know a lot of people will go for aluminium or whatever. But is it cycling snobbery? Nobody knows. But anyway. I liked it because it's very small and I liked also having one of these again. I think that said one Schrader and one Presta, I guess. I'm not going to see here because I'll probably get them wrong. And it's just telling you there. Just I'll try it off, focus. Yeah, it's got a symbol there. No, I'm not going to even. Actually, it looks as if Presta and Schrader are the same side. I didn't expect that. And the other one's that other one, Blitz or something they call it. I don't know. Never heard of it. This only seems to fit one way when you're putting it back. And remember to screw it down. Because if you don't. It might fall out, even if you put the, the catch on it. Screw it down, guys. Both sides have a protection cap. Yeah, I liked it because it just gives you that bit more flexibility, you know, if you're pumping up a tire. I only use them for see, just emergencies. I don't really use them outdoors. But I thought... <coughs> Because it's so small, and if you want to hook it onto your uh, bike, you use this. It's got a bit of velcro there. It took me a bit of a while to figure that out. It's going through there. Just a small slot there. And you're tying up like that. And I guess that goes on your bottle cages or that, new things, but I've lost a nut for one. So, I wouldn't do that anyway. I wouldn't use this. I would just put that in my bag or something. This is what I'm comparing it to, decathlon. This might be quite, a, this is quite an old one, I think. Well, five years maybe. So it's a bit bigger. I don't know if decathlon ones are smaller now. I might even just keep with this one because it's just about the weight. It's a bit more awkward when you're bl blowing up from there, but not much. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I used that. Breaking news, guys. This one seems to only go up to 87 PSI, according to the Decathlon website. So that one goes up to 120. So that might be why aluminium's a better if you're going higher up. <coughs> Most people say for mountain bikes that that'll be I think they'll be below eight seven. So that one would do. Uh, of course they both would do, but that one is a bit heavier. And I was just looking. It looks as if this one's still the same size that they're selling today. Twenty four centimeters, I said. This one, well, that's about 20. It seems smaller, but probably because it's narrower, I guess. So maybe aluminium, you can go up a lot higher in PSI, and that's the advantage. So in theory, I guess that would be, road bikers would go for that road bike we want the fast speed and high PSI probably the rest of us could just do with us because it's just an emergency isn't it for the unwary who have tube inner tyres I recommend something like that taking that with you and you would spray that in if you get a puncture that is you get a puncture spray that in then pump it up and hopefully 
as long as it's not a slash, if it's a, just a, a thorn hole or something, then you've got a good chance of it being sealed. If it's a slash, you're finished. And it's only for inner tubes. I don't know what they would use for tubeless tyres. And now for a very scientific test, blow up the glove. Just as a comparison. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. Twelve. And uh, this one. Yeah, this one's a bit quicker, so I guess it's just to do with length, really. I thought this one would be quicker, but I don't think it is. And I'm thinking, as long as the holes are the same at the end, roughly, it's going to be length. Alright, that's the scientific test over. And I guess the advantage with an aluminium is uh, you can blow up to much higher PSI. In this case it's saying around about 120, did they say? And where is my plastic one from B twin from Decathlon said 87. So really road cyclists will be looking at this one I guess. Or anyone who wants to blow their tires up really high. For the house or a car, I would recommend a, an electronic one. For something like a car it's great, because you can put it in the boot and Blow up your tyres anywhere, so as long as it's get charging it. Final weigh in 113, say 97, say 98. So that's 15 grams of a difference. This one feels a lot heavier, feels like 50 grams heavier, but it looks as if it's only 15 grams.